All right, I want to do an intro video into exposing the lies of Mark, also known as NC Books. And uh, first, let's start off with I want to address the people, first of all, that are uh, defending NC Books. Uh, especially defending him without really looking at uh, the evidence, uh, really searching out the truth. Um, so let, let me talk about this. With, with cults, this is a situation that is a really, it, it's just, it's an ugly situation. I mean, this, this, this is just going to get ugly, okay? Uh, it's just the way it is, but it's like, the only way that I can describe it is like, say that you ha you're in a you're in a relationship with a significant other, and um, and you have a suspicion that they're cheating, but the sus the suspicion is more uh, substantiated because while you haven't necessarily witnessed them in the act, you've witnessed certain conversations or certain things that uh, are are pretty are pretty bad, right? Well, here's the thing. There, there's, you know, let's say you see their phone, you know, open on the, on the table or something, right? And you, and you look over there and you, and you start, start to see some texts and conversations, right? Well, there's two kinds of people. The first, the first person is going to open up that phone and right away. And they, I mean, they really want to know, okay, what's going on. I want to know if they're cheating. The second kind of person, they don't want to know. They don't want to open up that phone because they don't want to be honest with themselves. They don't want to be honest about the pain that you, you have to go through to, to realize the truth. And that's exactly what's going on with this whole thing surrounding NC Books and him being a cult leader. Um, and of course, I'll get to all uh, more and more details in my next video. But really, here's the thing: it, it, we we have we have to be honest with ourselves. If we really want to live and walk in truth, we're gonna even when it hurts, we're gonna have to take a hard look at um, you know the mistakes that we make, the the judgment calls that we make if we misjudge a certain person or misjudge a situation and in fact I'm sure there's a lot of people right now that are misjudging me that don't even know me I mean think about it I'm speaking to you right now through through video messaging right you don't know me but yet Somehow in our mind, in your mind, you formulated some idea about who I am and, and maybe what I should have done and what I should have said and how I should have acted in, 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 that, in that last video. But please keep an open mind because, and, and here's why this is important. Regardless of what you think I should have done or I should have said or how I should have reacted or how other people should have reacted towards Mark, it, number one, it doesn't change the fact of Mark's own words. And honestly, that in and of it, his own words in and of itself are, they're inexcusable. And they're weird, by the way. If you look at his interactions, uh, especially the link that's on my previous video, and all the, you know, you you guys can go take a look at that over there uh, on the on the first video that I made on Friday. I mean, the the language that he uses. I mean, it's just weird, right? It's just. And speaking of weird, uh, it's intelligible, by the way. If you look up the meaning of decode. The meaning of the word decode is intelligible interpretation. What Mark is doing on his NC Books channel, he's not decoding because it's not intelligible. And how can you prove this? Well, you can prove this. Go to somebody you don't know, right? And have them watch a few of Mark's videos, his latest videos. 
or look at the titles of his latest videos. Now, would they know what he's talking about? No, because it's intelligible. It's not a decode. He thinks he's decoding. He's really not. Because they have, it's not intelligible. Now, if you watch his videos for a long time, over time it becomes intelligible because he has to explain it a hundred different ways to get you to believe it in the way that he explains it. That's how that works, okay? So, here's the thing. You don't know me, I don't know you guys, and so it's fine. You, you can judge me however you want to, but all that I ask, if you're a believer in Christ or you claim to be a believer in Christ, number one, be brave and be honest with yourself to learn the truth, even if it hurts, even if it's agonizing, even if it's like jaw dropping. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Like, I can't believe this is happening and you're freaking out. I mean, I get it. This is not a comfortable situation to be in. I know it's humiliating. It wasn't easy for me to make a video apologizing to the people, all the people that have viewed my videos and I could have led somebody astray. It's not easy. But it's necessary, right? Before we can begin to really discover truth, we have to be first honest. Okay, so that's all I'm asking here. So for, for, for the people that want to defend NC Books without really evaluating, unbiasedly evaluating information presented, this is your chance. Take it. This is your chance to be free. Don't take my words for it. I'm not a cult leader. I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to give you information and you can come to your own conclusions. Because you guys are intelligent. I don't, I don't have to spoon feed information to you guys in a long lengthy format about how NC Books is actually teaching uh, satanic uh, version, you know, basically san satanic uh, Carl Jung uh, information. That's what NC Books is really teaching is Carl Jung. Psychologist, Satanist, occultist, Carl Jung. And in fact, he can quote Carl Jung better than Jung himself. Which is really sad for someone who claims to be a born-again believer. And if you don't want to hear that, look, it is what it is. None of this is easy. But we got, let's get through it together. Let's get through this stuff together. If you want to get down to the root, get down to the root. If you're hungry enough for the truth, go find it. I gave you some links in the previous video. Go look up those links. Sit down, take some time, read through them. Go do your own Google searches. It's not that hard, but I'm not going to spend all my time trying to spoon feed you on it, okay? That's not my job. I have another job. I have a, I actually do have a, I have a real job, I, which is to take care of my family. And so I'm, I'm spending a lot of time doing this because I'm passionate about the truth. Okay, guys? So make whatever judgments you want about me. One last topic before I move on, and this is kind of random, by the way, random topic. It's uh, the, whole under, the whole idea about monetizing videos. Now, Mark, Mark has brought it up a couple of times, the fact that I've said things about him monetizing videos. But again, like with anything, context is necessary. Uh, I stated that, as a matter of fact, I believe that he started changing right around the time that he was monetizing his videos. Now, I didn't directly come out and say, hey, Mark is an evil person for monetizing his videos. But here's the thing. This is in this video I'm going to share with you my personal opinion not of Mark, but on anyone who claims to preach the gospel and monetizes their videos. I think they're evil and I think they're wicked. Period. 
No ifs, ands, or buts. If you claim to preach the gospel and you're monetizing your videos, I have absolutely no respect for you. Number one, we should not be getting any sort of monetary compensation for leading others to the, to the, to the cross of Christ. There's absolutely no reason why anybody should be making gain off of that. Number two, the ads themselves are antichrist. So why would I want to be a hypocrite? Why would I want to preach the gospel of salvation and have somebody watch an ad, an antichrist ad before? That makes me a hypocrite. Something to think about, okay? So Mark can say all he wants to to try to defend himself or whatever. This is my personal opinion. You can believe whatever you want to, and Mark's entitled to his own opinion. I can't see his heart. He may be, he may think differently about it, which is fine. It's not a big deal, okay? It's not a big deal. This is one man's opinion. You guys, I'm gonna. You guys need to see this next video. Uh, I'll take care. Love you.